Peggy 3. Over the last few versions of FM, the interaction between players, staff and the manager has become an important part of managerial life. Just like in the real world, the players and backroom staff have a mix of complex personalities, which means that you, as the manager, have to deal with an ever-widening variety of queries and concerns. This trend continues in Football Manager 2013, and you can now have conversations with more people about a wider range of subjects. This increased interaction isn't just with your own staff either. We've also opened up the dialogue between club and international managers. If you're a club manager, you can now comment on an international manager's decisions. For example, if you don't feel that a certain player deserves to be included in the national squad, you can let the national manager know just how you feel, but be warned, it's likely that you won't make many friends in the national setup if you deal with the managers in this way. There are now also extra options for interacting with players that you don't manage via the press. If, for example, you're managing a top-flight club and you're trying to sign a good prospect from the lower league club, you can now use the press to send out a message saying how you think that he's too good for the league that he's currently playing in, which will hopefully give him a bit of a confidence boost and endear you to him. New topics of conversation can also help your club achieve success. For example, one such option is to ask one of your playing staff to promote the club to one of his friends or international colleagues that you've an interest in signing. If they agree, then you could find your chances of signing the player have improved. Away from all the new conversation topics, we've also made a number of improvements to the existing conversation structures. In FM13, you can go deeper when it comes to dealing with your players. For example, you now have the opportunity to defend a signing that the fans aren't happy with, ask a player to withdraw from his international squad, or criticise a player for making too many costly mistakes in recent matches. Backroom advice has now been made more accessible and informative in FM13 as well. You can access the top points of discussion from your staff directly from the squad screen under the new Get Advice from Staff panel. This means that you can be kept in the loop with your staff's recommendations quickly and easily. Your staff will also come to you with advice on more topics, such as what to say in a pre- or post-match interview, or how to strike a positive relationship with a new affiliate club. You'll also have more interaction options with staff, such as asking a member of staff to stay if another club offers him a contract. Of course, you can ignore their advice if you wish, and of course the staff can get it wrong depending on their own skills and characteristics. The Board Confidence screen also features a new addition in the form of the Board Promises tab. Here the Board let you know just how well they feel you're sticking to the philosophies of the club that were laid out to you on your first day in charge. If they think you're doing well in this area, then it could be your saving grace if you're facing the sack. These are just a few of the changes we've made to interaction in FM 2013 and we hope they'll help you get what you want out of your players and staff.